Prepositions. A preposition is a word placed before a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase to show the relation between the person or thing denoted by it and something else mentioned in the sentence. For example, my books are in my bag. The relation has been shown between my bag and books. Second example, the man jumped into the river. Here the relation has been shown between the river and jumping. The relations expressed by preposition include time, direction, position, agency, manner, reason, purpose, instrumentality, etc. For example, on Saturday, the back seat of the car by me towards the railway station with a knife die of pneumonia. These are the examples. A preposition needs an object. This object can be a noun or pronoun, a noun phrase or even a noun clause. For example, in spring is noun, for me pronoun, tired of waiting, he is afraid of what his teacher might say. So what his teacher might say is a noun clause here. Sometimes this object may be an adverb of time or place or an adverb phrase. For example, I haven't seen him since then. So here then stands for time of, adverb of time. From here, my school is five minutes drive. Here, the word here, adverb of place. Somebody called me from across the road. So here across the road is the adverb phrase. When the relative pronoun is the object of a preposition, the relative pronoun is often omitted. This is the dictionary which I was looking for. This book gives idea which you can live by. So here for at the last and the second sentence by at the last. For and by at the last are the preposition. Kinds of preposition. There are four kinds of preposition. First is simple. Second compound. Third prepositional phrase. And the fourth is participle preposition. Example of simple preposition like at, by, in, from, on, to, etc. Compound preposition examples like beside, across, inside, within, etc. And prepositional phrase like in front of, in case of, in spite of, by virtue of, with reference to, etc. For example, please don't park your car in front of the gate. So in front of here stands for prepositional phrase. She went away in spite of my request. So here prepositional phrases in spite of. Participle preposition examples like regarding, concerning, etc. Example, I want to talk to you regarding the changes in the timetable. So here the preposition is regarding. The position of preposition. If I talk about the position of preposition, first is that prepos preposition are usually placed before a noun, a pronoun, etc. For example, in the cupboard, for me, instead of working hard. So the three words which I have said in that the preposition is in, for and instead of. Second, the preposition can occur at the end of the clause or sentence in the following construction. First, that if you are talking about interrogative sentences beginning with a question, beginning with a question word actually. What post have you applied for? So here for is a preposition. Second example, which city does he belong to? So here again the preposition is placed at the last of the sentence if, he, if it is uh, beginning with a question word. So here to is a preposition. Second is in the case of the relative clause. Relative clause. For example, a person to whom you were talking is my uncle. So the person to whom you were talking, the person to whom, so your to is a preposition because it is coming under the relative clause. The person you were talking is my uncle. You were talking is a relative clause. Third is exclamation. For example, what a tough customer to deal with. 
what a tough customer to deal with in the case of exclamation so here again with is placed at the last of last part of the sentence so here by is uh, with is preposition second example what a small house to live in again here lin is uh, in is the preposition it is also used for passive voice who were you taught english by all old furniture must be disposed of so again by and of are placed at the last of the sentence now preposition of time preposition of time talking about at on and in at at usually denotes a definite point of time but can also be used for indefinite periods as well for example definite point of time examples at 5 pm at this moment at midnight at the end of the speech and for indefinite period like at night at dawn at diwali at christmas coming on to on on is used with days and dates on saturday on 17th june on the sports day on a december afternoon in in is used with part of the day and with months year season like in the evening in june in 1947 and uh, in winters in is also used with the future tense to show the period in which an action will happen i will be back in half an hour and the second example in a years time this puppy will grow into a big dog second by by means not later than for example you must be home by 8 pm the action can obviously occur at or before the specific time but not later than that at this speed we will be able to reach gwalior by 4 pm second for for suggest duration it tells how long something last for example mr chuhan taught at the school for 2 years for is often used with perfect and uh, present continuous tense i have known sharad for 5 years she has been doing career counseling for 2 years then comes since since indicates the point of time at which an action began it is used only if the action has continued till the point of speaking it is also most used with perfect and perfect continuous tense for example counting of votes has been in progress since morning the principal has been addressing the assembly since 8 o'clock then talking about from a preposition from from also denotes the starting point of an action it is used in all cases except when the action has continued till the moment of speaking if i compare it with since it is mostly used with to or till for example a written test will be held from 9 am to 11 am we are at minali from 18th to 24th june this is what is about from during during suggests the whole of the period for which an action continued for example it continued to rain during the night and we also use during when we are talking about an event activity or experience and not about the period of time for example i could not take your call for you called me during the meeting i'll visit the uh, ashram during my stay at pondicherry now the difference between in and within in means at the end of and within means before the end of i'll be able to finish this assignment in a week that means at the end of the week i'll be able to finish this assignment within a week that means before a week is over difference between until and by until the action continues up to a certain moment and by the action will happen at or before a certain future moment until example like uh, please wait here until i come back here the action continues up to the certain moment and by i'll return your camera by saturday evening that means before a certain future moment preposition of place or say 
position first at here denotes the position at a point for example at the center turn left at the next crossing at the end of the queue it denotes the position at a point next is on a position on a line on tells us a position on a line like delhi is on the river yamuna second it tells the position of a surface like the dictionary is lying on the table there is a big dark patch on the wall and on also tells attached to there aren't many roses left on the bushes in talking about preposition in in reference to a place or position it suggests a position inside large area it gives the idea of an enclosure like there was nobody in the office he was in a taxi now the difference between between and among between is normally used with two person or thing or a group of thing for example anshika is standing between rahul and abhinav or second example if i say there is a beautiful painting between the two windows when we think of more than two person or things separately we use between for example there is a close bond of friendship between these three friends so here it is more than two three but usually we use between with only with two person but here if you think about two person individually or separately then you can use the word between while talking of dividing or sharing we can use either among or between like um, um, mr max divided his property equally between his son and daughters and you can even say mr max has divided his property equally between and in place of between we can also use among his sons and daughter when somebody or um, something is in a group in a mass of a people or thing or when we do uh, when we do not see separately we not see things separately we use among for example the rabbit lay hidden among the bushes now the difference between above and over both above and over means higher than sometimes we can use either of them the flag waved above our head the flag is waved over our head over can also mean a covering or vertical cover the fan was directly over my head similarly now the difference between below and under both below and under means lower than and sometimes we can use either of them his body was below the water his body was under the water you can we, we can use either of it under also mean vertically below specifically under means vertically below similarly over means vertically over for example of under the cat lay crouched under the table few more prepositions like behind and in front of these two prepositions suggest position opposite to each other for example a long queue had formed behind me there were only uh, two passengers in front of me now besides besides by the way of and it also means next to there is a small table lying beside the bed or the girls hostel was right beside the school building the other preposition that is opposite near and across opposite in a position facing someone or something but on the other side the person sitting on the opposite seat was busy reading a novel so it is facing someone or something but on the other side near near means close by the state bank of india has installed an atm machine near our house that means it's very close by to your house across is a opposite side of the library is just across the road the opposite side of so in that case you can use the word across